6th of August 2020. So I'm doing a, a sort of an overview of <coughs> uh, Sony Vegas um, what do I get? Sony Vegas Movie Studio 17.0 Platinum so I just uh, purchased this yesterday <coughs> it was $99 uh, so because uh, I used to have a uh, different version of Sony Vegas before and this allows me to have like a a video editor for my uh, Windows computer because uh, <coughs> this way I can for instance um, record a video on here and then record on my iPhone and I can combine them together and uh, that's mainly why I got this so it's got some stuff here uh, all these effects transitions here oh those are the transition from one to the next explorer project media project media uh what's this oh that's the timeline uh, so you can put text. Let me see if I can put it. a text media. Oh, simple text. It's just. Right, so. I guess we will play it on the preview. Oh, look, it shows the sample text. So, <clears throat> these are all the tracks, video, or you can add new tracks, like insert, video tracks, so I insert in another video track, or I can bring it down here. Uh. Mm -hmm. Power user mode. I mean, where is my power user mode? I didn't do anything. What? Oh, you can upload it to. Oh, that's for the thing. All right. So, <clears throat> so this is a brief kind of uh, overview of the uh, Sony Vegas. Sony Vegas. Uh, oh, it didn't capture the top. Wait a minute. Oh, yes. Sony Vegas Movie Studio. So deep on your platinum. This is not a professional version. The professional version is like. I don't know. It's a, it's a bit expensive. Like 600 or 500. It's, it's more expensive. It's. Uh, anyway. <coughs> Something like that. Let me just I don't know when I had my root canal done. I, I know, it must be something like a lip uh, sore or something. But it's healing. It was, it was bad. Uh, you know. It was worse. Two days ago, maybe. So it's healing. So uh, now I want to talk about Catholicism. <laughs> so I, I got in. I, I I sent an email to the local Catholic church. I went there last year. Just got in contact with the priest and just sort of. 
reintroduce myself. And he doesn't remember me, so that's good. Um, <clears throat> oh, why do I say that? Because, I don't know, I just... My my soul, my soul is wounded. My soul is in despair. My soul is in despair. I'm part of the deep depression. I, I feel that I get you know. I uh, suffer from depression. And uh, <clears throat> I think part of the reason, I mean, even if I'm, I think even if you were a believer, you would still, I think I would still get depressed. And, but, um, I don't know, I, I just feel very depressed, so, I don't know, it's just, life feels, life feels, uh, I mean, when you think about it, it's like, can get very depressing when you think like how <sighs> it just feels so meaningless and I don't know I don't even know if that's the right word it just feels like it feels very depressing <laughs> so um, the reason I bring Catholicism up is because you know, I've been also reading the Bible a little bit here and there, and I was thinking about like you know, how, you know how they say Jesus died on the cross for your sins, and what does that mean? I was thinking like you know, <clears throat> maybe what that means is all the pain and the sorrow and all of that you feel in your life. Jesus takes that pain onto himself and he dies and so he's, he's like he's like he's taking your suffering and your pain and sort of I guess it's your punishment I don't know how do I, I feel I feel like the way you understand it is he takes all that negative stuff in you and he dies and then he, he, when he gets resurrected, it's like he brings you with him into this new life. And that, I guess that's what they call born again. So it's like, imagine like all the pain in your life and it, 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 Jesus takes it and he dies uh, for you. And imagine that all of that going away through Jesus' death and when he rises up, it's like you're a new creation in him and you have this new life <clears throat> so imagine something like that that like imagine like all of the negative stuff in you is gone through Jesus and then he gives you this new life and you're free of all of the pain and misery and suffering and like you now you're a new creation and you're free to live life and and you get eternal life as well, and you know you don't die. You know Jesus said he, he conquers death. I mean, you know some people may be skeptical about that, but just think about the whole part about dying, all the, all the negatives of dying, and you're born into this new life, new creation, and you're free in Him. And to me, that's that's very like. I don't know, I, just, I was thinking about it and it's like, yeah, that, that sort of makes sense. I mean, it, it sort of sort of resonated with me. It's like, why do, I'm, I'm always asking, why does Jesus have to die? And why does he have to die? And what, what does that mean? And when, when I was thinking about like how all this negative stuff, uh, all of that is gone through Jesus' death and, I be, and he... Through his resurrection, I have a new life. I feel like, oh yeah, that that kind of makes sense, or that sort of, I don't know, sort of like, yeah, I would like that. I think, I think, you know. So what is faith? Faith means that you believe that that is what happens. Like, and you know, 
And this can be like a process that, ha that you might have to do every day, you know, it's like die to your sins or I don't know, people, the sin is like, what do you mean sin? What does that even mean? It's like, I don't know. I feel like I've got a lot of regrets and I, feel, I, don't, I don't feel, I feel like I'm not a good person, you know, I feel like I'm not a good person and Because maybe that is because I've sinned or I, I don't know, understand it that way. I just feel like I'm not a good person, like I'm a bad person and I feel like, you know, I deserve to be punished or something and but by having faith in Jesus I get, I get this into life and that, that gives me hope. And like I said, you know, when you think about God, you can't use science to understand God because God is not a material thing. You know, they say God is a mystery. You know, science doesn't deal with the mystery, it doesn't understand mystery. But God is a mystery, you know, like. So, you know, if, if you use science or uh, these facts, to make sense of God, you're not gonna come, you know, you're gonna create a cartoon of what you think God looks like. But God is not like that. God, it's like this, the material world is the tip of an iceberg and underneath is all this vast reality, the spiritual reality, the, the reality where we experience uh, you know, we have experiences that <laughs> you can't put it under a microscope. So there is a yeah, science isn't telling the whole truth. Now I was thinking about the devil. Maybe what the devil does is he tells us, oh yeah, evolution and the Big Bang and you know this is all there is, and then maybe that's what the devil is making us believe that. There is no God, that there is no spiritual realm and all that. Maybe that's what the, you know, they say the devil is a liar and he wants you, he wants you not to believe in God. That's just, that's just, he wants you to, uh, you know, he wants you, he wants to take you away from God and maybe by focusing everything on the science and the evolution, the devil is saying, look, how can there be God? Look at this evolution. Look at this. How, what are you talking about? Maybe that's the devil's uh, way of trapping people, you know? Because there is this thing about feeling and consciousness. No, we don't know how something like that can exist. A material world cannot encompass consciousness and experience. That so. Reality must contain something more than the material, so that is the gateway, the door towards exploring the spiritual realm. Uh, and I guess you can go on your own journey. Um, anyway, so I'm reading the Bible and I actually ordered another Bible. This is a Bible I, I think I bought in 2006, but I just I don't know, maybe I gave it away or did I throw it? I, I bought so many books and I, I gave them away because I was going through this purge cycle. And, uh, uh, anyway, so I bought that book again. It's like the New American Standard Version Study Bible. I really like that Bible because it's got a lot of uh, maps and things. And At the moment, I'm sort of trying to read this Bible. This is the... This is a study Bible as well, but this is a King James study Bible. It's got a, you know, it's got lots of maps and stuff too. Like, you know, I've got I've got lots of Bibles. <laughs> I've got lots of Bible, but I haven't. I, I, I saw a video somewhere where someone said, like. It's not about, as long as you read one Bible, it's good. 
you know, it's not about which is the best Bible, but have you read one Bible? So I'm like, no, I have not read one Bible. I'm like, I'm like, oh. So yes, I, I got in contact with the priest and I said like, you know, I'll keep in touch by email. And I remember last time I was like trying to push myself to get baptized and, you know, trying to force myself. And this time I said, no, I want to go, you know, I want to let God guide me. You know, um, I'm not going to force myself to get baptized. I'm just going to go, I want to let God guide me in and Go slowly or some other different pace. God's pace. Anyway, so uh, uh, yeah, I have to get I have to get my blood work done for my HRT. But also, like I'm trying to give up uh, the vegan junk food and the drink. And you know. this is yesterday. I drank this yesterday, but I, have, I didn't want to finish it. This is like the Victoria Bitter. Uh, I drank it yesterday, but I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to drink any more alcohol. I don't think it's good for me, even if it's just beer. Uh, I think it's a, I did drink coffee today and yesterday, so uh, I don't want to drink coffee as well. Uh, so anyway, those are some of my thoughts. Oh yeah, for my birthday, I was thinking about getting a cake, and I wanted to order this cake, but then they said that they couldn't, their delivery date was later, so I don't know if I'll get a cake. I would prefer to make my own cake rather than buy, when I think about it. Uh, so maybe I won't get a cake for my birthday, uh, but, uh, you know, uh, yeah, I'll be 42, and, uh, Maybe I'll make a cake some other time, but yes. Yeah, my birthday's on Monday. Huh?